Erectile dysfunction, or ED, a condition that might make you uncomfortable, but they shouldn't. ED is more common than you think, and there's no reason to be embarrassed. In today's video, we'll dispel the myths, explain what causes ED, and explore the different treatment options to help you or a loved one overcome this challenge. Whether you've experienced it personally or are simply curious to learn more, understanding the facts about ED can help break the stigma surrounding it. Let's dive in. Many people believe that erectile dysfunction only affects older men, but that's simply not true. While the chances of experiencing ED do increase with age, men of all ages can experience it, so it's not something limited to older men. Another common misconception is that ED is purely psychological. While stress and mental health can play a role, ED often has physical causes as well. Health conditions like heart disease, diabetes, or even certain medications can contribute to ED. As you'll see, erectile dysfunction is more complicated than people often think. Now, let's take a closer look at what really causes ED. So, what causes erectile dysfunction? This question might have crossed your mind, and the answer isn't simple because there's no single cause. ED can be due to physical reasons, mental health factors, or a combination of both. Let's start with the physical causes. Heart disease, for example, affects blood flow throughout the body, including to the penis. When your heart isn't pumping blood well, it can be difficult to get or maintain an erection. Diabetes is another condition linked to ED. High blood sugar levels can damage the nerves and blood vessels that are crucial for sexual function. Being overweight can also play a role in ED. Extra weight often leads to high blood pressure or high cholesterol, which narrows the blood vessels and reduces blood flow, making it harder to maintain an erection. But ED isn't always physical. Mental health plays an important role as well. Stress, whether from work, relationships or financial worries, can disrupt the brain's ability to signal the body to increase blood flow to the penis. Anxiety can also contribute to ED, and worrying about ED can sometimes make it worse, creating a cycle that's tough to break. This mind-body connection means that addressing stress and anxiety can be just as important as treating physical symptoms. Now let's talk about lifestyle choices. Smoking narrows your blood vessels, reducing blood flow to the penis and making it harder to get an erection. Alcohol can also play a part. While a drink might help you relax, too much alcohol can interfere with the body's ability to get and maintain an erection. These lifestyle factors are directly connected to your overall health and well-being and often contribute to ED. As you can see, ED rarely has just one cause. It's usually a mix of physical, mental and lifestyle factors. The good news is that erectile dysfunction is often treatable, even if it has multiple causes. If you're experiencing symptoms, you might be wondering, what can I do about it? Let's explore the steps you can take to address ED. The first step is recognizing the problem and, well, understanding that it's okay to ask for help. Erectile dysfunction is a medical condition and it's no different from getting treatment for a persistent cough or knee pain. Don't let embarrassment or shame stop you from talking to a healthcare provider. Open conversations with your doctor can lead to treatments designed just for you and addressing the issue early can prevent further complications. Remember, the sooner you seek help, the quicker you can find a solution that works for you. The second option is adjusting the lifestyle. Once you've recognized the issue, the next step is making lifestyle changes that can help improve erectile dysfunction. This includes regular exercise, eating healthier, quitting smoking and cutting back on alcohol. These lifestyle changes don't just help with ED, they also improve your overall health. Daily exercise, for example, improves blood flow, which is essential for sexual health. The final thing to do is explore treatment options. If lifestyle changes alone aren't enough, your doctor may recommend other treatments. Therapy can help address any psychological factors contributing to ED, such as stress or anxiety. If a medical solution is needed, medications can help improve blood flow to the penis. 
For cases where other treatments don't work, your doctor may discuss surgical options such as implants or vascular surgery, though these are usually considered a last resort. Everyone's path to treating ED is different, but the most important thing is to take action. If you're having symptoms, talk to a healthcare provider. ED is sometimes a sign of other underlying health issues, such as heart disease or diabetes, so addressing it early can help with more than just your sexual health. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more health topics like this one.